Hey everyone, Stonehearth Alpha 19 is now live on our Steam and Stable branch. For this week's Desktop Tuesday, let's take a look at the work Walinda has done to create Rise Children's Tier 2 quests. When you start a game as Rise Children, your initial contact is Narayal Iskender, a representative from the far-flung Iskender Trading Association. Once you've established your town a bit, for example, hit about 2,000 net worth, he returns with a quest for you. As the world's preeminent trading group, the Iskender are also the creators of Hearth's best maps. If you'd like to get your town onto one of their maps to reap the benefits of more trade and renown, you must make a special monument to prove that you're interesting enough to matter to future visitors. Naral gives your potter three possible recipes. A monument that proves the skill of your crafters and that requires the production of some very fancy items. A monument that proves your skill at trade, which requires you to get some flowers that are only available through the returning trader. And a shrine to Raya's mystery, which requires you to find a mysterious tome that only drops from the giant zombie or necromancer encounter chests. Once you create one of these monuments and achieve the appropriate correlated net worth, you can ask Narayal to return. He will verify that your town is indeed worthy to be placed on the next Iskander map of Hearth. Doing so unlocks awesome new background music from Raj, beautiful new building templates from Ellie, and advanced shops that will sell you more kinds of food, weapons, and armor. Linda's favorite part of this feature, she says, was definitely watching Ali's monuments take shape. Ali's idea was as the Ascendancy has fountains, Raya's children should have fire-themed monuments, and indeed, you can see that there's sculptures surrounded by coals. They're already pretty, and they're not even done yet. Mally still has to come in and add some smoldering effects to them. Linda also really liked Ali's new flowers, which are useful in the monument recipes, but which you can actually place around town. Oh, of course, Linda and everyone on the team loves Rajman's amazing Rise Children music. We're really happy that you can grab this campaign, the music, and the fire monuments, and the new housing templates, and the shops right now on Stonehearth's Steam Unstable branch. Give them a whirl and let us know how they're going for you, either here in the comments or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!